Today we're gonna to be doing some meal prep and self-care. And I kind of think these go hand in hand because it's really all about just taking care of future you. And I love to cook, but I do not love to cook every single meal from scratch. So what I do instead is I just make extra when I am cooking. If I'm gonna make a sauce, I make a whole bottle of sauce so I have throughout the week. If I'm gonna make a grain or a legume, I make extra. And that is how I'm able to make really delicious meals throughout the week in a matter of minutes. And I feel like once I adopted this strategy, which I'm gonna show you today, it really helps me eat a lot less randomly. Like I feel like overall I eat more well-balanced meals, more nutritious and just more interesting. Like the quality of food that I eat is really delicious. And I think it's because I have a lot of the more time consuming things prepped and ready to go. It's a cozy, homey day that we're gonna have together and I hope it gives you lots of good ideas. All the recipes that you see in this video are gonna be linked in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started with breakfast and the first food prep item of the day. I think the thing I prep the most often is a berry compote and that's because I love this for so many dishes like I love it on oatmeal but I also really like it as a snack I'll spoon it over coconut yogurt or over granola or even over ice cream it's really really nice to have this ready to go in the fridge and I feel like I reach for it a lot when I know it's prepped and ready to go it's just a little agave or maple syrup with a splash of water sometimes I do orange juice instead of the water and it just cooks for a couple minutes until it's nice and thick on this day I spooned it over oatmeal but like I said I like that I have the flexibility of you know being able to have it with other things like yogurt or cereal or something like that if I feel like it later in the week I'm not tied to having the same breakfast every day if I don't want it I put some peanut butter on top because it creates kind of a pb and j effect and I always put a little plant milk on my oatmeal these days because I feel like it means that I can eat my oatmeal faster it cools it down a little bit and it tastes really good too but it's mostly that I'm just impatient and I want my breakfast now because it always smells so good so that is what I did on this morning I also had coffee and one of my favorite mugs I love this one and I had my vitamins as well Good morning guys, I just had breakfast and I washed my face and while my skin is still damp, I'm gonna put on this hyaluronic acid. It really helps to put it on when my skin is still damp because it helps to hold on to that moisture. It has this little dropper thing that's really fun because you just push the button on the top and it dispenses like the perfect amount. Now I'm gonna use the Osea Seabiotic Water Cream. This is a really nice moisturizer because it's thick and it feels so good when you put it on, but it's not heavy, like it absorbs into my skin really quickly. I do a pretty generous amount. So we're gonna be meal prepping and I'm also gonna share my skincare routine with you today because as you can see, I'm breaking out a little bit and my skin had been really good. Ever since I was in DC, I was kind of slacking on my skincare. I was eating and sleeping differently. All of the like stress from travel and stuff just definitely shows up on my skin. I'm one of those people where as soon as I kind of get out of my routine, I usually see it on my skin, which is fine because I kind of know what to do to take it back to a good place and I'm gonna show you how I do that today because it's already getting a lot better and I do like that I see results really quickly. So I teamed up with Osea to bring you this video because these, as you can tell, like look at this bottle. These are the products that I really use and I really love and I know kind of exactly which ones to use to get my skin back in working order. They have a new serum that I've been using ever since I got back from DC that has really, really helped with the clogged pores that I get. So I'm gonna show you that tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself ready because I have some errands that I need to run and then I will meet you back in the kitchen for some food prepping. How cute is this shirt? I just got it from Etsy. And I love that it's just this very minimal design, but it's definitely like, I'm with Team Vegan, <laughs> which I think is so cute. I love it. I'm just going to wear it with some white biker shorts. I'm at my desk right now. I'm looking at Pinterest because I just wanted to get some recipe inspiration. I don't want to make like full proper recipes today except my brownies because I definitely want to make my brownies later but sometimes I'll just go on to my favorite blogs or onto Pinterest and I'll just type in ingredients that I have and that I want to use up and usually what I have is super random so it's not going to perfectly fit into recipes but I just kind of use this for inspiration. So I have this bag of farro that I wanted to use up so I typed in farro salad recipes on Pinterest and this is what I found and used for inspiration first thing I did was prep some farro and instead of just making a little bit for this one salad and then having to do the same thing again tomorrow when I want to make the salad again I made the whole bag at once and that way it would be really quick and easy to throw this salad together over the next couple of days and the result is a really delicious kind of soft fluffy grain that tastes a little bit like brown rice but I actually like it better 
While the fire was cooking, I also cooked up the last of my black lentils. This is great to throw into the salad, but I always like having a cooked legume in the refrigerator just so I can easily throw it into salads, pastas, or even veggie wraps if I need to throughout the week. The inspo photo that I was using had a honey mustard dressing, so I decided to make my vegan maple mustard. And one thing I've learned after doing this for years and years is to actually put a little water in the container before you mix the ingredients. The ingredients are super simple. There's only three. It's tahini, Dijon mustard, and maple syrup, and water, so I guess four. And you just shake it all together. You don't have to whisk. You don't have to blend. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just shake it up, but adding the water that, to the container first is really what helps make it blend really easily. And nothing sticks to the side you don't have to try to scrape this you know the edges to get it all incorporated it's a game changer and I just shook it up and had a whole bottle of dressing ready for the week the last thing I prepped was kind of the sprinkle-ons, you know, like the little toppings that you add to your salads. In her recipe, she had walnuts and sweet and chewy dried figs. So I just chopped them up all at once so that when I made the salad over the next couple days, I didn't have to do any chopping. I could just easily sprinkle this out of the container into the bowl and it would be done. This is also great to have on hand for snacks or to sprinkle over your oatmeal. So loved having that in the fridge this week. And this is the result of 20 minutes of meal prepping. I had everything ready to go, including some chopped onions, which meant that throwing the salad together was so easy. so good it smells even better this is such a good flavor combination but i also like all the contrasting textures like there's some crunchy bits there's some creamy bits it all works together really nicely and i love that it's all prepped and ready to go so for the next couple days when i just want a really fancy lunch i can just throw it together and it'll probably take me a minute and a half to just mix all that in a bowl i'm gonna enjoy my very delicious salad probably watch a youtube video or something while i eat and then i will see you guys when it's brownie time okay so i just made a batch of my tahini brownies these are totally nut free and super super chocolatey i'm gonna get these in the oven and i'll show you how i did it in a large bowl combine runny tahini unsweetened applesauce and maple syrup whisk to combine then add light brown sugar and sift in cacao powder you definitely want to sift it because as you can see it gets a little bit clumpy in the bag then we're going to go ahead and mix this for about 30 seconds until it turns really thick and fudgy and the final step is just to add your flour baking soda and salt I like to fold in some vegan chocolate chips as well. These are my favorite from Enjoy Life and they're really good because they kind of melt into the brownies while they're baking and it just makes everything so much fudgier and chocolatier and gooier and who doesn't love that in a brownie? I think it's important to remember to meal prep treats as well as prepping your veggies and some of your meal ingredients. I have a tendency to ignore the way that I actually eat when I'm thinking about my meal prepping schedule and I just focus on, you know, the healthy stuff and I'm like, okay, I'm going to eat so healthy this week. I'm going to prep all my veggies and that's great. I love veggies. I love fruits. I love whole grains and legumes, all of that, but I also love treats i love having a little afternoon pick me up or dessert and there's something that's really practical and also really homey and cozy about having this prepped and ready to go so definitely don't forget to add that to your list okay so i just got out of the shower washed my face and it's a little bit damp still so i'm going to use this sea glow overnight serum and what this does is it basically helps to very gently exfoliate my skin it's an aha treatment it has 11 percent aha that's made with phytic acid and fruit enzymes helps to kind of encourage cell turnover so it's really healing when i have stuff like this and i want to heal it really quickly you can use the serum on its own or you can follow with a moisturizer if you like but everything by osea is vegan it's cruelty free it's california made and i always really love the ingredients i just feel like it's stuff that my skin really likes and it works really well especially when i'm consistent so that is my goal if you guys want to check out osea there is a link in the description box below that will get you 10 percent off but now i'm going to go detangle my hair and get started on dinner 
Ever since I made my mac and cheese recipe a couple years ago, I've gotten questions about what to substitute with the cashews. A lot of people can't have cashews or they don't want to use cashews. And so usually what I would say is either tahini, hemp seeds, or sunflower seeds. But I haven't actually tried which measurements of sunflower seeds work best. So today is the day that I thought I would experiment so I can leave all of that information in the description box for you if you've been looking for a nut-free alternative. I start by boiling some pasta and I like using a curly pasta because it holds on to the creamy, cheesy sauce really nicely. And while that cooks, I make the sauce, which is super easy. It's just some frozen butternut squash and plant milk. To make this nut free, I'm using a pea milk, but you can use any kind of plant milk you like. Then comes the nice cheesy flavor with our blend of spices, which is nutritional yeast, onion powder, which is key, kosher salt, and a little bit of cayenne. The cayenne doesn't make it spicy. It really just helps is something about this combo it tastes cheesy it's really amazing so add that right in and then i have the soaked sunflower seeds now this does two things one it softens the sunflower seeds so you can blend them nice and smooth but it also helps to remove that bitter nutty flavor i know nutty is kind of an ironic word to use when trying to describe the flavor of a seed but it does help to kind of neutralize the flavor a little bit. You are still gonna taste the sunflower seeds, I found out. So if you're not a sunflower seed fan, this is not the recipe for you, but it is still really tasty and I really enjoyed this. As you can see, it gets nice and smooth and creamy, but not thick yet. And don't worry if you see it and it's like, it's creamy, but it's not thick. It thickens when it cooks on the pasta. So I add this back to the pan with the drained noodles and it's going to kind of thicken up over the next two or three minutes when you have this on meat medium low heat. So just give it a nice stir, add some salt and pepper to taste, and this is ready to go. On this night, I had some mushrooms that I wanted to cook up. So I did the whole batch of mushrooms and I made like a rosemary garlic. This is just garlic powder, fresh rosemary, and sea salt. I think these are such an underrated side dish. I always think of mushrooms as like an ingredient to go in other things like pasta or tacos, but having the rosemary garlic mushrooms with the cheesy mac and cheese, such a good combo, especially with broccoli. Like this is comfort food on a plate to me and it was really delicious. The sunflower seed flavor does definitely come through, so that's something to keep in mind. But if you like sunflower seeds like I do, I still think it's a really enjoyable mac and cheese recipe. And I love that it's a fun way to kind of incorporate more plant diversity in my diet. Like I love doing this with cashews, but it's nice to know that if I want to change things up, I can now do it with sunflower seeds. And I can either just reheat it for lunch or if I wanna change things up, I can add some frozen peas, I can stir in the rest of the mushrooms or even top it with vegan chicken. The next morning I rinsed off the serum so you could see what my skin looks like and I just feel like it has a nice glow to it. It feels refreshed and when I use this consistently, it really does help heal my skin. It reduces the amount of breakouts that I have and even that big one on my cheek had gone down considerably in size overnight. It's definitely the kind of thing that works best when you use it consistently one to three times per week and when I do that, I really do feel like it makes a huge difference in my skin. So check out the link in the description box below for the discount. That's also where you're gonna find all of the rest recipes that you saw in this video. I hope it gave you some good ideas. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and get meal prepping people because it really is, I think, a form of self-care. Have a great day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye everyone.